Hello everybody and welcome back to Addicted to Air. Sorry, <laughs> I'm in a state looking bad, but uh, we've been on the farm and um, doing some pest control and we've enjoyed the day with friends. What more can one ask for? Now, I'm doing a quick review on a, on a certain gun today and I'll show it now to you. In, in today's world, we often left uh, undergunned, underpowered, uh, call it what you like, um, due to the main fact that um, air guns constantly evolved and it's, it's getting better and better. But the downside to that as well is um, that air guns are getting more and more expensive. And recently, uh, when I started testing this gun, um, I quickly realized that one don't need an extremely expensive gun. Uh, and I think it's two or three weeks back, we had a nice shoot for the weekend, friends, and there were guns to the likings of Brocock, uh, Impacts, and not for one moment did I feel I had a lesser gun. Uh, if they shot at 30 meters, I shot at 30. Uh, if they knocked something down at 100, I knocked it down at 100 as well. So, that being said, I'm not saying any of the other guns um, are bad or there's something wrong with them. Uh, each has its own space uh, uh, or place where it um, function well and properly in and um, let's talk quickly about this gun and it's, it's, it's not a new gun, it's familiar to everybody it's the Rexy Max Frown in 5.5 and I'm quickly gonna run through the basics at the back there's the shoulder piece and it's adjustable buttstock uh, up front there's a 12 shot magazine here's your regulator pressure just in front of this gauge is where you adjust your regulator then it operates and, and loads and cock with a, a side lever and it's smooth and easy um, then underneath there's the trigger and the trigger guard also functions as a, a safety how awesome is that? alright then the trigger is adjustable too then up in front is the the pressure on your bottle itself and it's got a nice extended Picatinny rail which helps you to keep the gun steady when taking those extra long shots then up on top it's got a, a Picatinny rail where the scope is attached the scope itself is a 8x32 uh, by 50 discovery and it's the second focal plane then um, moving to the side there's the, the full port and it doesn't use a standard foster fitting, it's a foster-ish, if you can call it that. And that would be my only gripe with this gun. Um, I don't like that fitting because it's, it's not very resilient to dirt and stuff. Uh, it left me a time uh, or two in, in the dark where it didn't function properly and so the shoot was a total bomber. But luckily the guys at pelletguns.com um, already have uh, probes with dust covers that uh, attach here uh, you screw this one out and screw the new one in and then it's a uh, normal faster fitting how, how excellent is that? so overall um, otherwise what more can I say than this is an excellent gun it's excellent value for money and we've literally thousands of shots, thousands of shots through this gun and with not one hiccup uh, or whatsoever, it functioned properly and flawlessly so guys, um, if you need a gun and you're on a tight budget this is the gun to go over and out guys
give it another run of the front. Oh man, Bosa. Here's a Rocky. Just a second. I'm gonna block this one eh? Didn't see me. Yeah, oh, man. Watch this. Wow, smack that one. Oh man, my retriever is already on it, eh? Come, bring him. Bring him, go. Come. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him, go. Oh, my body, my pal. Come, bring my go. Oh, 